Hi everyone and welcome to Retinotronics. Today I'm going to show you how you can make pixel like this using LEDs like this. So keep on watching. I came across these LEDs while I was looking for some components. They look like a normal RGB LEDs. They even have four pins, but they are not RGB LEDs. It is basically a RGB LED with WS2812 chip inside. Let's have a look at the datasheet of this LED. Here is the datasheet of the LED that I'm holding. It is WS2812D F8. F8 stands for the diameter of this LED, which is 8 mm. This uh, datasheet is in Chinese, but most of the stuff is uh, pretty easy to understand. Here you have the pinout of the LEDs. It has four uh, pins but they are labeled D out, anode, cathode and D in. You can see D out and D in at pin number 1 and pin number 4 and uh, pin number 2 is your VCC and pin number 3 is your ground. When you go further down in the data sheet you can see all the bit timings. Uh, they're pretty much similar to the bit timings of uh, WS2811 and here is the 24 bit pattern so you can see the first data will be the green data and followed by the red and the blue for comparison I have also opened the data sheet of WS2811 2812d f5 so in this case f5 is a 5 mm led because this data sheet is, is in english so even the 5 mm led has the same pinout as you can see and if you go further down it gives you the bit timings right so you can see the bit timings uh, these four timings here is pretty much the same but if you check the last bit timing which is the uh, time for reset this LED needs a 280 microsecond reset delay whereas this one needs a 50 microsecond reset delay and if you go further down there's a difference here the 5 mm LED needs the red data first followed by the green data and the blue data whereas the 8 mm LED needs the green data first followed by the red data and the blue data if you go further down you will see how you need to connect these LEDs as usual uh, you need to you need to give your data to the data in and take out your data out from data out pin and connect all the LEDs in series same with the 5mm LED but unfortunately you also need a 100 nanofarad or 0.1 microfarad capacitor across ground and the VDD it, it, it will be nicer if they didn't have this capacitor but unfortunately uh, we need that capacitor as well so what are we going to do now I have couple of LEDs I have about five LEDs we are going to connect these LEDs we are going to actually solder the LEDs and I'm going to solder a 0805 capacitor across positive and negative lead of the LEDs and see how this LEDs will work so let's solder the LEDs and uh, apply some data here I have connected all the LEDs uh, using a 2.54 mm uh, header socket 
I'm using uh, something like this to connect the, connect all the LEDs. I'm using these uh, soffit holes to connect the uh, five LEDs. This is actually a quick and uh, dirty method of connecting these LEDs. You can use anything. You can use a breadboard to connect connect these LEDs or even a PCB. That will be the uh, tidy solution. Um, and also, I have used red wire to connect all the VCs together and the white wire to connect all the uh, ground uh, connections of the LEDs and then um, orange wires to connect all the data in and data out of the LEDs and this will be my first LED and this green L, uh, wire is inputting the data and to drive these LEDs I'm using uh, one of our pixel controllers this is actually a chameleon uh, pixel con controller uh, version 3 if you don't know about this controller there will be a link up you can uh, click on that link and uh, know more about this controller also the reset timing for these leds are 50 microseconds at the moment uh, this 50 microsecond timing i have picked up from the data sheet if you can remember when we were browsing the data sheet we saw the reset timing was 50 microseconds okay let's switch on uh, the pixel controller and see how this led works right it's actually working and this is the pattern that i have uh, put uh, red chase followed by uh, uh, blue chase and then uh, yellow chase yeah so the leds are working um, as expected also here uh, you can see i have connected the 0805 capacitor across positive and negative leads of the leds i have connected only two capacitors for the first led and the second led um, i haven't connected anything for the third and fourth and fifth leds but if you are using these leds don't do that um, just go by the data sheet and connect the capacitor for uh, the the positive and negative lead of, of of every led here you can see how i have connected the 0805 capacitor across the two leds so there you go that's a brief introduction of ws 2812d leds when you consider ws 2812d leds you can find some advantages compared to normal pixel leds they are these leds are quite compact you don't need to buy 50 leds you can buy 10 leds 15 20 any number like the pixel string you are not restricted to a small wire length between two leds you can have a very long wire length between these leds and there are also some disadvantages compared to pixel LEDs. They are, though the LEDs are compact, you still need the 0.1 microfarad capacitor across the positive and negative lead. There is also a series resistor between data out and data in, which we excluded from our design. If you go through the data sheet, you can see this resistor here. So you may have to include that resistor in your circuit. But when I weigh my advantages with the disadvantages, I still like these LEDs and I will be definitely using these LEDs in my next design. What about you? Are you going to use these LEDs in your next design? Please put your comment below. With that, I conclude this video. Thank you for joining and please subscribe if you like this content and I will meet again with a new video.